We're gonna go again. Oh, and pressure. Hillbilly, pressure. All right, so we got all finished up with SEMA this week. We're headed back to Utah. We've got an F-150 that's stuck up Spring City Canyon. We gotta go back and assess. So Owen busted his butt last night and put a new transmission in his blazer. So we're gonna be getting back, using that, and going up and seeing what we need to do to get that F-150 back up on the road. All right, so we made it up to the top of Spring City Canyon. We were able to find the Ford F-150 right behind me. This thing is way far off the road. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna figure it out. So we're gonna try to get below this F-150 and see if we can put a receiver oh, hitch winch hey, yeah, down right. inside of it to see if we can try to anchor it back up. We're definitely gonna need more than one vehicle. So we're just here tonight on a recon mission. Good thing there's a tree there. Otherwise this truck would be down to the bottom of the mountain. I think they're very lucky. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. And I, I think we can do it with one vehicle. So the problem we're up against is we've got a tree right here. So we've got to get it away from the tree and then drag it up. Oh my heck. All right, let's try to see. All right, so this is pretty bad. I'm going to try to get below it so I can show the sweetness of it. It gets deep there. Well, hey, since we just got back from Vegas, first time seeing snow, you want to have a snowball fight? No, <laughs> not tonight. Maybe when we have like boots and holy cow, this cab's messed up. We have to drag it up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that whole door smashed in. It's pinned against the tree. That is for sure. Looks like the bedside smashed in. Hit the tree here. All right, so this is not only stuck, it's gonna need some body work after. It's a nice truck though. Yeah. Probably some frame tweaking. So I'm thinking, I'm liking that idea of a winch in the receiver. Hold back end up. We'd have to bring batteries, jump box. I think we're gonna need a winch on here. Possibly my uncle's Jeep, Bronco for sure. I mean the, sorry, blazer. the blazer. I didn't I mean to offend, Bronco. I didn't mean to offend his blazer. Call it a Bronco. I I Ford. Ford. All right, so we've got a game plan. It feels like it's midnight, but it's actually only six o'clock at night because of the stupid daylight savings time. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up tomorrow with three rigs. We're gonna have two pulling this thing sideways away from the tree, and we're gonna have Owen's blazer up front, tied off to a tree, pulling this thing forward. So we're gonna do a triple pull. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this work. So we're gonna get the blazer turned around and we're gonna get back down home. We'll be back up tomorrow. All right, so it is another day. We got all geared up, figured out our game plan of how we're gonna get this truck off the mountain. And we got our friend Danny with us. We got the boss with us. And then we've got Owen over at his blazer. And then we've got Hillbilly. He's gonna be driving Owen's Ford Bronco. You guys might remember that from the very first snow recovery we ever did when we pulled the police car out and then we went and got that thing stuck. So we've since grown up and we no longer do stupid stuff with our friends and we just do everything really professional. So we decided it's gonna be best to have three winches up there. So we're gonna take my uncle's Jeep, which is what I'm driving. Thank you, Randy. I'll call you after to make sure it's okay. We've got Owen's Blazer and Owen's Bomb's Bronco. We're gonna be pulling from the front and two from the side. We're gonna get this thing away from the tree and back up the hill, get it flipped around, and then my boy Danny right there gets to drive that F-150 down the mountain, and he doesn't know it yet. <laughs> I do <know. laughs> So what we did is we actually borrowed Danny's winch. He's got a Badlands 12,000 pound winch on a receiver mount. So we just stuck this thing right in the front of the Jeep, right here. We're gonna be using this one to pull sideways and kind of just support while Owen pulls with the blazer. This is just a support rig. We got the Bronco right here. That's gonna be pulling sideways as well. As of right now, that's the plan. We're gonna get everything out off the trucks. We put our fresh Freedom winch line in this worn winch on the old Bronco. So since his mom's been letting us use the Bronco, we put another Freedom winch line in this. The Bronco and the Blazer both have Freedom winch lines. Hillbilly's getting the Blazer unloaded. He is all geared up. He's taking his job super, super serious. So he's got his rain gear. It's gonna be action as snow gear today. You look like an Eskimo. At least I'll stay warm. Where's all your gear? Was it Matt that said, if you just think you're warm, you'll stay warm? So this is my this is my snow gear. I don't think Matt thinks on the same level as us, that's the case. <laughs> Rescue number three or number 30? I lost count. We lost count. But I do know that this is like, however many we've done, only three of them have been with their own equipment. Yeah, I know. We don't have anything of our own. But that's gonna change. Once we have more time, we're gonna have we're gonna have the Bronx Star, the Cherokee, the JK, and we're gonna get a Snowcat. And your off-road record. Oh, and we're Rory. gonna have our off-road record once Rory finishes that. So we're eventually gonna have all our own equipment. We're just new. All right, let's get on the road. We got some road snacks to pick up. All right, so we just realized that Owen's Blazer is having a catastrophic failure. We're gonna do a trick that I was taught way back in the day. We're gonna buy my first pack of cigarettes. Actually, Hillbilly's gonna buy them. And we're gonna crumble them up in the radiator, and as the leak, leaks out, the tobacco will swell and hopefully stop the leak. 
Ugh, gross. Anyway, I don't yeah. want to touch them, so I'll let Hillbilly do it. The entire side tank of the brand new radiator is separating, so I'm tightening it up. He's putting in his grossness, and we're gonna get to the top of the mountain with this thing. I don't know if anybody else noticed or not, but as of right now, the leak stopped. The trick is working. No leak. No leaky leaky. When in doubt, put tobacco in your radiator. Got us some road snacks, got me some chips, and we're ready to hit the mountain. Oh, there's no one with his road snacks. Look at that little Eskimo. He's so cute. All right, so we just stopped and checked the radiator on Owen's blazer. It's sealed up tight. Not a drop in sight. So the old trick worked. So I do not condone tobacco use. In fact, I think it's disgusting. But if you're ever out on a trail, it wouldn't hurt to put a pack of cigarettes in your repair kit. We'll make an off-road repair kit, yeah. and it'll consist of jumper cables, a bar of ivory soap, and a pack of the cheapest cigarettes they sell. Pictures don't do it justice. No, it's pretty dang. Oh, Owen <laughs> fell. Dang it! I missed it. Can you fall again, please? Oh. We'll catch it this time. All right, so we're gonna get out and assess this. This is way, way worse in the daylight. And it's, yeah. it doesn't even do it justice. It's a beautiful day in the mountains for a recovery. We got three rigs with us. We got one not so awesome rig stuck off the side of the mountain. I'm gonna show you this in the daylight. So this is where he was trying to come back from. Okay, so we talked to the owner last night and basically what he told us was he was coming around this sharp turn. So right here's a hill. He said there was a dually pulling a camp trailer that was stuck. Then there was somebody else trying to help that. So when he came around the corner, he started sliding backwards. It was just like a slip and slide and off the edge he went right there. Kind of crazy. These mountains get crazy in the winter time. We're going to get everything kind of rigged up and figured out and see what we can do with this. Is your flanges cold? Yeah, absolutely. I need my mittens. What kind of vehicle's off the side of the road? If it was a Chevy, it wouldn't be down there. It'd be at the very bottom. Getting pulled out by a Chevrolet. And a Ford. Mainly a Chevy. The Bronco has a warrant. Yeah, the Bronco is just gonna lay back and do all the hard lifting. And then we got the Harbor Freight winch. That's gonna be doing an awesome job. And then we got the Schmitty built the that will probably yeah. fail us, but we'll see. All right, so this F-150 is literally being supported by this tree right behind me. This whole side, grazed it the bed's all smashed top of the cab is smashed the door is smashed it's gonna be fun getting it out the goal is to not hurt that tree and to not hurt that truck as we're putting pressure on it we're going to be pulling the truck away from the tree saving that tree from harm and getting this truck back up on the road there's one more thing that you need to not hurt what your uncle's jeep that you just painted so we're breaking my uncle's jeep in i'm going to call him right after we film this and make sure it's okay we don't want to repaint we don't want to repaint it. We don't want to scratch it. We don't want to hurt it. We just want this to be as successful as possible. Let's go get these vehicles in place. All right, team. We got three vehicles. We got one in the ditch. We're going to get it four. out. That's four. Four vehicles. So we're going to bring the blazer up first. We're going to tie it off and get it hooked to the truck very, very first. We're going to be snatch blocking all three of these just so that we're not exerting all the winches. They're all capable. We want to make this successful. So we're going to get the blazer in place. Then we'll get the Jeep hooked up. Then we'll get the Bronco hooked up. <laughs> I'll just tie it off right now and then we'll get the winch lamp. All right, so you got this hooked. All right, so we decided to solid shackle this. One last thing to fail. Get my winch controller from the glove box and make sure the winch is engaged. Please. Please. Thank you. And thank you. Who just started a snowball fight? Wasn't me. The tree is uncalled for. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we don't want no But snowball. there is a snowball fight once we get it out. You said so. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Get her tight. Good, hold it, hold it. We got this one set, now we're gonna set two more. So I'm gonna pull the front, you're gonna pull the back. Woohoo! Owen just fell again. again. Owen's just all over the place. The snatch block will be at the truck, coming back tied to me. I got you. We're gonna break this Jeep in for my uncle. <laughs> we paint stuff and then we borrow it. What if we just go around this tree entirely? Turn your wheels and just see if it'll suck over this way. Is this got a locker in it or no? Yeah. It ain't locked. Slowly spin the tires and you pull it back. You're coming. I'm hooking up the winch to the Bronco to the back through the receiver. So that way we can get pulling on it. Yeah, since this is 
a mobile winch. We brought a battery for it. What are you guys doing? We're snatch blocking it right now. I forgot to do that when I first hooked it up. Luckily, Owen caught it. It's the only actual cable winch here, and it's the one I'm using. All right, now I gotta figure out how to attach to the frame safely. This will be fun. I found a cross member. I'll try to wrap it around. Um, do we have any more strap? Hey, do we have any sort of straps? I'm grabbing my jacket because my leg is cold. What? We're hooked. Okay, good. Everybody's got to get in position. We're going to get everybody out of here. Me and Hillbilly are going to pull pressure while Owen's pulling pressure. Danny's going to get inside. Once we get it away, then we'll probably start the truck and try to use its power a little bit. Once we get pressure, we probably want to put it in neutral. We're going to, we're going to do this. Okay, Owen, go. Look at what it's doing to the Jeep. Hold it. Okay, Danny, give it a little. Turn your wheels all the way passenger. All right, how are we looking by that tree? All right, so it's working pretty well. Feeling good, Hillbilly? Yes, I am. Look at him over there, just manning his port. Him and that Ford. We're gonna go again. Owen, pressure. Hillbilly, pressure. It's working. That's good. We're almost to the point where we're gonna start letting slack and letting him pull you. And then we'll have, then we'll pull you sideways and then we'll figure out what to do with it after that. I think Owen needs to put a new battery in this Bronco. Run the winch for maybe 45 seconds and the battery's done. It's getting a little too hot for a jacket. Hit it. All right, so now I'm just using the Jeep to keep it from falling off the mountain. I want Hillbilly to pull his now. Suck her in. Nothing? I think that winch is dead. I'm pulling mine now too. We're good. I need to get my little Jeep that could out of here. All right, so now that we've got it back on the road, we're gonna hurry and release my winch, get the little Jeep that could out of the way. And then we're gonna finish pulling this forward and then we gotta figure out how to get it turned around. But at least it's not on the side of the mountain anymore. All right, so everything was successful. Look at how bad this was. This doesn't even show it justice. I'll go down there here in a minute and show you guys how far off the road this really was. This is the extent of the damage. It just got a little bit on the door. So we're getting the snatch block unhooked, getting the strap off. We're gonna wheel the winch in. Oh, I gotta put a blanket down because I don't wanna be cold being a bugger got it out anyway the bronco got stuck we all had to help got that unstuck now i'm headed down the mountain check this out i am six foot two and it was above my head that's where the door landed on this tree so this gives you an idea of how far down this really was do you want to build a snowman blah 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 everybody move <laughs> whoops hillbilly caught me do you want to get in it and let's just go a little bit more forward Where's Hillbilly? I know he's getting snow. <laughs> hey, what's my catch? We're just out, out for an afternoon game of catch. All right, we gotta get serious. Now we're gonna unhook this. Your battery's not doing its job. So Owen's gonna drive out of this. We're gonna hook our yank him up to it. Yeah, you got a tree, yeah, you got a a tree on trees. your back. No, I, yeah. I would turn your wheels driver and go back. No, hit it hard. I'd go, watch out, watch out. No, don't go off. <laughs> it's hard in the blazer. Well, Owen's stuck. Okay, passenger hard. Okay, now crank it driver. Owen, come pull him backwards. Go, Danny. Perfect, now wait. So I want you to be turned all the way driver and have this in reverse, and it should just reverse at you. Whoa, whoa! Hold that, hold it, hold it! <laughs> reverse. 250 point turnaround in the mountain. Got it. Now's the scary part, going back down oh, on ice skates. Over. I accidentally muted myself here. So what I was trying to tell you is that not only are we gonna go get a victory snack, we're actually gonna go get a victory lunch because everybody's hungry. It's like way in the afternoon and here we go. Let's get down this mountain and go eat. All right, so literally every one of us got chicken strips for lunch because it's their special here at the bowling alley. And Hillbilly, of course, had to be different. 
I don't know, I'm not much of a chicken fan. I like the red meat. Yeah, he loves the meat. <laughs> uh, we got the customer coming to pick up his truck here in a little bit. We're gonna head back to the shop. All right, I gotta call my Uncle Randy and make sure he's okay with me borrowing his Jeep. Hello? Hey, Randy, how's it going? It's going pretty good, how are you? Good, hey, remember that Jeep I painted for you? Oh yeah, the, the one that you've had for a year to paint? Hey, would you mind if I borrowed it today to go on a recovery? Uh, I, I, I don't know. It's got a fresh paint job on it. I prefer you not touch it, so probably not. I can't? Yeah, no. Well, it would be very helpful if, if I could borrow your Jeep to go on a recovery. But I really don't want it to get damaged or muddy or anything a Jeep would do. So as long as I don't scratch it, you'll be okay with it? I guess I have no choice. You can take it. Thank you. Hey, yeah, no, have a good day. You're welcome. Thank you for calling and asking permission. Uh, just come get it whenever you need. It'll, it'll be sitting here waiting for you. All right, I'll be there within a year. Well, <laughs> he said no. But then I talked him into saying yes, so I think we're good. Perfect. All right, so she didn't actually get this truck stuck. It was her husband, and his name is Austin. So here's a shirt for your husband. Thank you, guys. Yeah, no problem. Hopefully he doesn't need us again. Yes, so, thank, you. thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, today's rescue went off perfect. Without the help of Owen's blazer, his mom's Bronco, and my uncle's Jeep, we wouldn't have been able to be successful. Owen started himself a YouTube channel. I'm gonna pin a comment. You guys need to go check that out. If you like DIY 4x4 stuff, go check out his channel. As always, we appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed this video, go check out this one. Hey, shh. Oh, look, he's pointing. <laughs> Perfect, Uncle Randy. You can hang the phone up now. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye.